have you always wanted to spend less and save more? I know it's easier said than done, but achievable. So, in this video, I'm sharing 10 ways you can spend less and save more every day. Number 10. Plan a garden to get in touch with nature. You're more likely to get inspiration if you have something to look forward to. You can gain from starting a garden in so many ways. Slow living enables you to pause and appreciate nature, but it does not imply that you can't do both at the same time. One approach to reducing stress and unwinding is to spend time in nature. Starting a garden can be relaxing and provide you with access to fresh, nutritious produce. Start a garden in your backyard or grow some houseplants on your balcony. As you take care of your garden and gather food, you get to reconnect with nature. When it's time to harvest, there is no greater sense of success for a gardener. By no means is this intended to imply that you should neglect your garden until you have to return. Spend some time savoring the soil's aroma as you pull the weeds, inspect each crop. Spending time in your garden helps you get rid of other stress-causing thoughts. It keeps you in good health. Additionally, you get to prepare meals with the products you have grown yourself, saving you money and providing you with food that is both healthy and nutritious. You haven't blown hundreds of dollars at the grocery store, and your risk of becoming sick is modest. Number 9. Limit your social media consumption. We barely ever get bored these days with all the social media platforms, streaming services, and online multiplayer games available. There is Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and a lot more platforms that waste a huge chunk of our time. There is no shortage of activities to keep you occupied, yet doing so requires you to ignore the more important things. Time is money. You spend less time making decisions that affect your life as you spend more time watching the media. You won't have enough time to launch your side business or save money on subscriptions as a result. Paying attention to your media consumption can save you money and make you feel less anxious. The need to stay up to date on everything that happens on social media, such as a Kardashian breakup or the well-being of a couple you follow, can cause anxiety. You experience anxiety because you are anxious to learn this information, and anxiety can lead to other health problems. Instead, Reading educational material can help you become more intelligent and inspired to improve your way of life. Change how you think about the media, and you'll see changes in your life. Number 8. Embrace the quietness. You may become overwhelmed by the cities and your job's hustle and bustle. This could result in stress, which might result in other issues, including anxiety disorders, panic attacks, or obesity brought on by stress eating. The more silent you are, the more you can hear. As Rumi once stated, you can connect with yourself, hear your ideas, and make wise decisions. Turning off all noise, including the radio, the TV, and other distractions, is another aspect of embracing solitude. It helps you exercise mindfulness, which keeps you healthy and helps you save money. It also helps you save electricity because unplugging technology uses less power. Number 7. Prepare your food at home. While slow living does not require you to cook your food on the lowest heat possible, you should not do everything slowly. It does imply that you need to give cooking at home some thought. When you take the time to learn and enjoy it, cooking can be enjoyable. You discover that it clears your mind, enabling you to create explosive recipes. You might discover the most sought-after secret recipe in the world and earn passive income from it. Additionally, you can avoid paying for pricey restaurant meals and save money, you could get food poisoning and other stomach illnesses if you eat out. Eating meals as a family makes it simpler to maintain a healthy weight. Slow living is one of the best practices you can develop to maintain your relationships and support your health. When you prepare meals at home, you may take time to make sure that every component has been completely cleaned and examined before cooking. Number 6. Make all of your food from scratch. You do indeed save a lot of time in the kitchen by purchasing pre-cooked food. You don't want to spend all of your free time in the kitchen preparing meals if you work long hours. Due to this, many individuals choose to purchase pre-cut vegetables. This was more expensive than making your food from scratch. Use this money-saving advice for low-cost living. This is because you can make your food in bulk and freeze it in portions. Pay less for groceries that way and have more time each week to spend with your loved ones while savoring a delicious meal that was cooked with love. Number 5. Develop your patience. We all agree that the proverb patience pays is true. In addition to conquering mountains, 
patience can keep you well and financially secure. This is because you are conscious of the choices you make. You may put the slow living lesson to use for yourself in a variety of ways by developing your patience. For instance, waiting 24 hours before making a purchase gives you plenty of time to consider if you actually need the item or are just drawn to its novelty. If you determine that you can live without it, you will save money. Patience can also assist by helping you pay off debt. You risk going into debt if you make purchases on a whim. Having patience when making purchases will help you avoid debt, which can save you money and keep your mind stress-free. In addition, you can cultivate patience in all facets of your life and observe positive changes. Number four, slow your commute down. Do you always go by car? If the answer is yes, you probably have a lot to miss. You spend so much time yelling and cursing at the drivers in front of you that you never get to appreciate your surroundings or unwind. It's not necessary to drive your car at 10 miles per hour. When you commute slowly, it entails leaving it at home and using different modes of transportation like biking or walking to go where you're going. For instance, if you commute to work through the suburbs or a rural location, you pass a lot of vegetation. Driving makes it simple to overlook the tranquility and clean air of your surroundings. When you walk, you can take in the fresh air, the sound of birds, and the beauty of the natural world all around you. In a city, there are skyscrapers and other impressive structures, as well as services that you can use to distract yourself. You spare yourself money and avoid issues that arise from prolonged sitting. Number three, learn to prioritize and categorize things based on their significance. We prioritize the things that do not help us live better lives and put off the more crucial ones. You tend to prioritize things that give you temporary satisfaction when living this way, which costs you money. Making decisions slowly enables you to weigh your ability to buy against your need to have. For instance, if you choose a quality device with fewer features, the device with the best features and unlimited phone capacity might not last as long. Taking care of your family also enhances your reputation because it keeps them content, healthy, and active. Number two, aside from Netflix and television, choose a hobby. Too many individuals settle down in front of the TV with their favorite snack after a long day at the office to watch the programs they missed. This consumes time that could be spent engaging in other pastimes that are beneficial to their health and finances. Sitting in front of the TV implies that you have a subscription to the programs you watch. There are other pastimes you can engage in that are free, saving you money. These pursuits also give you the chance to network and share financial progress-related thoughts with others. You may maintain your health by engaging in hobbies like running or exercise because they keep you physically fit. Number one, pick up a nice book. There is a plethora of knowledge in books. Reading can make you feel less stressed and depressed, as well as lessen your risk of having Alzheimer's later in life, according to a scientific study. According to studies, reading can lower stress by up to 68%. You're not required to read only books when you want to make a purchase. Taking the time to go through product evaluations can help you save a ton of cash. This is so that you can choose wisely for your purchase because many customers offer their frank opinions on the goods they purchased.